Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I just wanted to share with you what sold on eBay this week. My hubby Paul is going to tell you all the details about each item and what everything sold for. So enjoy! Okay, what you see here is uh, several other things that have sold from March 28th through April the 3rd. That's March 28th through April 3rd. I believe we sold 11 different items. Not a great week for us. I did not post as much this last week. Uh, I think Heather did lots of bulk.com uh, unboxings and uh, listed a lot of those. So we, and I, any available time I had, I helped her, but we did sell a few things and I wanted to be able to show you uh, what happened there. So this is a few of a uh, few knives in the same set, a set of five. I know the set has a lot more, but those were the five that we had. And uh, this came from the Goodwill outlet. Now we pay by the pound, 99 cents a pound is what it uh, cost us at uh, the local Goodwill outlet close to us. And so we sold this for 685 plus 725 shipping so we definitely made our money plus. So uh, don't forget about silverware even knives and you know these weren't silver plated, they weren't silver, they you know they they didn't have a great name, but they still will sell, especially if you put them in a lot of something like this. So uh, think about this the next time you're out there looking, especially if you're at a Goodwill outlet. It just pays to be able to pick them up. They will sell. Next item and the next few items you'll see didn't sell for much, but uh, they do sell. Uh, so Sterling Silver Little Western Cowboy Hat, you could tell it has some pitting and some issues there uh, even on the picture, but uh, it's still sold for $0.99 cents plus three fifty. This was in a large lot of other jewelry that I found. And so... Um, yeah, sold only for $0.99. Cents. Now, here's what I do with things like this. I will start trying to sell this item for $9.99. And then if it doesn't sell within a week, I might go to $7.99. And it doesn't sell for a week, then it goes to $4.99. And I keep dropping it. Once I get past about $4.99, I'm going to drop it to $0.99, cents, hoping that people will bid on that and a little bidding more will happen. And most likely, I have broke even on this. Um, the fact that I bought a large amount of jewelry, you know, every little bit, uh, helps when they, when they sell, uh, to make profit. But, uh, that's why things are selling at 99 cents and you'll see several other things that sold for 99 cents. Here's the next item. And this was actually from, <clears throat> excuse me, this was from a bulk, a lot. And this was just a, um, uh, like, what, what does it say? Revitalizing therapy moisturizer. Um, it was something that we could not sell on Amazon, so we sold it on eBay. And the same thing, we listed it for nine ninety nine and slowly walked it down until it was sold for ninety nine cents plus three fifty shipping. Next item, another grouping of jewelry. This was a kind of a leftover, unsorted, random junk drawer jewelry lot. B next lot craft design. It had a lot of beads, as you can see, the blue beads in there. Some really nice stuff. Somebody got a pretty good deal. $0.99 cents plus $4.99 shipping. Uh, but this is uh, still more the large amounts of jewelry that we had purchased. This one was from a Goodwill, uh, just a regular Goodwill store. So again, $0.99 cents plus $4.99 shipping. Uh, another thing, Funko Mystery Mini. These are really interesting. Uh, it is a gamble to a certain degree, and everybody's got a little different strategy on this. We bought a massive amount, uh, over $360 worth of Funko Mystery Minis. They were getting clearanced out, and what we were doing was actually opening each box, and then we were selling them uh, for whatever that, instead of it being a mystery, we knew what it was, of course, and we were selling uh, them to help people collect the the whole set and some of them would go for twenty dollars thirty dollars I think I think our highest was we sold a little WWF wrestler for fifty dollars um, I can't remember which one it was now but but it, amazing what it went for and so I, I call it a gamble because they also sell for this uh, they also sell for 99 cents plus 375 shipping so it's something to keep in mind when you're opening those Funko boxes. It's not all 
wonderful. Sometimes you're not even breaking even uh, because, you know, we paid probably on clearance $3 for the box and still did not, uh, of course, make our money back. But this is what it is, the reselling game. This is another thing from the bulk box, a Delta faucet, $4.99 plus $7.25 shipping. As you can see from the box, it's been taped back together. There's nothing wrong with the actual unit inside of it. Uh, most likely the packaging had been damaged, but um, uh, it was taped back together. And uh, um, so uh, people definitely, definitely wanted it. And $4.99 plus $7.25 shipping, and off it went to the customer. This was probably a good buy for us. This was at the Goodwill Outlet again. Ran across these boots, and anytime I see boots at all, especially at the Goodwill Outlet when you're paying 99 cents a pound, it's you can't pass it up. And a pretty good brand for boots. So for $20 plus $8.50 shipping, they weren't in the greatest shape. I took lots of pictures. There were nine different pictures of these boots just so that you could be able to get a good understanding of what was going on with the condition and still people uh, bought them. I don't know if they're being bought to wear or for some kind of design purpose or another, but $19.99 plus $8.50 shipping. Uh, again, with the large piles of jewelry that we bought from the Goodwill, um, uh, I lot up the clip-on earrings. And let's see, 10 pairs here went for $604 plus $350 shipping. Some of my lots go higher than that. Some of them go lower than that. It all depends on the bidding war often that people get in on that. So that one sold for, again, $604 plus $350 shipping. This was a uh, just a, two little golf clubs. They were, let's see, left-handed. Yep, left-handed clubs. And they were children's clubs, uh, youth clubs. And uh, they sold for $9.99 plus $9.85 shipping. Probably a great deal for someone for sure. And again, I got this at the Goodwill Outlet. I might have spent a dollar on both of them. They were fairly light. They weren't heavy at all. Uh, well made, but just not real heavy. And so it uh, worked out very, very good. $9.99 plus $9.85 shipping. This was from a bulk lot. Uh, these are... Uh, I guess our football gloves, if I'm thinking correctly, for wide receivers to catch. And this is sold for $750 plus $350 shipping. And this was an adult large. I didn't think these would sell at all. My uh, my wife, Heather, had looked these up, and she said, I think these will. And I we kind of debated, and I said, well, I'll throw them on there anyway. And I was surprised that they sold. I thought no way they would. But $750 plus $350 shipping, um, they were in great condition. Um, they still had the tags. It's not shown on this picture here, but one of the pre uh, one of the other pictures of the three that I put on there showed the tag on it. So, in great condition. Seven fifty plus three fifty shipping. And I believe this is the last one. Another. These were the youth football gloves, sold for eight fifty plus three fifty shipping. In same condition, great condition, and so glad that I posted these. That really did help out the totals for the end uh, of this week here. And that's all that we had. Those 11 items sold on March 28th through April the 3rd. It wasn't a great week for sales. Uh, I didn't post a lot uh, before this point. And if you don't post, you're not going to sell. But still, I'll go over the numbers with you in a moment, and you'll see that we still made some good profit. Profit numbers for March 28th through April 3rd, what we sold on eBay. We sold $67.50 worth of product. Our cost of goods plus the fees was $14. So we made profit $53.50. Remember, this, is, this week we did not sell a lot, of course, uh, but we didn't post a lot also uh, going into that week. So uh, we did a lot more with Bulk.com, a lot of other things on Amazon, and eBay, eBay kind of took the back seat. So uh, if you don't post, you don't sell, and that's a good lesson to learn if you're, you're doing the reselling. you got to be posting, and when we don't post, we don't sell a lot either. I hope this has helped, and we'll put out another What's Sold for the next weeks coming up. 
Hey, thanks for watching our update on what sold on eBay this week, March 28th through April 3rd, 2018. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. If you are looking for resources to help you resell, just click the eBay link below to purchase my Hooked on Pickin' reseller program, which I created from my 10 years of experience reselling. It has checklist cards for Amazon, eBay, and Goodwill. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips, items, and strategies listed by department. The eBay card has a six-step guide for reselling, and the Amazon card has a six-step guide for reselling. They are fully laminated so they can easily go anywhere without being ruined. These are a great resource to buy. Just click below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.